Hello horror hounds, welcome to my horror house. This Friday's movie review will be for Hammer's The Vampire Lovers. A little change of pace, change of direction for Hammer and their vampire series, moving away from Bram Stoker and Dracula and Christopher Lee, and on to Sheridan Le Fanu and the source material Carmilla, which opens up all sorts of sapphic vistas for them. So I wonder if uh, the trailer is gonna be the normal template for these Hammer Vampire trailers that we've seen. Spooky, insistent voiceover, uh, insistent histrionic music from the movie, or whether they're gonna feminize it a little bit, play up to the, the sexiness, uh, which was, let's be honest, the selling point for this movie. There is only one way to find out, and that is to hit play. Now. Spooky voiceover and spooky music, straight away, front and centre. This is a Hammer trailer. And here is Ingrid Pitt, the phenomenal Ingrid Pitt. Are you going to give away the beheading? Ooh. <clears throat> that is so pulpy. I love that font. Right, here's Ingrid Pitt in a nightgown. Sold. One ticket, please. <laughs> now that is an interesting way to... to get rid of a vampire. Now, come on, push... Peter Cushing's hardly in it, but push him front and centre in the trailer. Yeah, they're really, they're going with the sexy, aren't they? I do like that bleeding V, the two cuts. Now Angry Pet really became a latter day hammer icon. But yeah, this is a, this is a movie about female characters starring, starring women and I'm glad that they're putting that front and centre. I mean, oh, another strange way to repel a vampire. We're onto no illusions here that Ingrid Pitt is the is the baddie here, is the vampire. Right, it's got Peter Cushing staking vampires in it, and it's got Ingrid Pitt in a nighty. Uh, two tickets, please. I'll go and see it twice. Sexy bedtimes, although hetero. They're not pushing the lesbian angle at the moment. Maybe a little bit too much for the trailer. That would have got me queuing up to see that movie in 1970, and no mistake. You've got the, you've got the fallback comfort of Peter Cushing. Like I say, he's hardly in the movie. But using a shot of Peter Cushing there, driving a wooden stake into a vampire's heart, tells me that, yeah, if I liked Hammer's previous vampire movies, I'm going to like this one. You know, with just the added frisson of um, a, a blousy, angry pet running around in her nighty, and lots of other beautiful women writhing and moaning in their beds. What's not? I mean, exploitative. Yes, but what's not to like? <laughs>